Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the Laplace transformation. Today we will see what is the multiplication by T rule in it. Myself, Dr. Gar. So if you have the Laplace transformation of the function f of t which is denoted as f of s then if you multiply this function f of t with the help of this polynomial small d which is calculated simply as derivative of this or in general if you consider t raised to power n then it will be the nth derivative of this make it minus 1 raised to power n. The proof is very simple you can start from the given thing since this is given to you. Now you have want f derivative of this. So we can uh, take differentiation this with respect to the s we will get here. Here you can see this is the function of the s and t but we need only for the derivative with respect to s. So what we can do is we can take the partial derivative here. Here is a function of the t only so this we can take the derivative here with respect to the s but you get this is nothing but here. Now I can write this as a function of t I can combine them what is that this is. So if you compare this with the help of here what is that this is nothing but my Laplace of f of t that's the quiet proof of this. So this minus can be taken on this right hand side left hand side this will get the required proof. So how we can solve these problems related to them we will see here. So what is the rule behind is that whenever the term t or t raised to power n present in the Laplace transform we always used here. And once how you can use them we will try to find the Laplace of this function this and then we will differentiate it with the help of this rule. So we will see some couple of the examples are there let's see here. So if you remember my last lecture related to the shifting first theorem we will also discuss all these examples by using the shifting first theorem. So let's start with the same examples how you can differentiate them. So let's start with the first one e raised power here. Now since you can see this is a e raised to power here you can also solve this with the help of the shifting first theorem and since this is a polynomial here we can solve this also with the help of the multiplication by t. So it means there are the two methods. So the first method that is the shifting first theorem we already discussed in our last video you can see that while we will discuss here in this one. What you can do is you can skip this part and try to find this function Laplace of this since we know that Laplace of the exponential is here. Now here this is the t raised to power 2 so we can take the 2 times derivative with respect to here. So what is that minus 1 raised to power 2 is plus 1 so we can take the 2 times derivative of this is the required answer. And you can see that whether you want to use the shifting first theorem or the second or the or the multiplication by two, uh, t rule answer will be same. Look at the another one is there again this is the exponential part so you can apply the first shifting theorem or since this is the polynomial so you can apply the multiplication by t rule. Shifting first theorem we already discussed in the last lecture this is the answer of this. How you can solve them so firstly you can open this bracket here. Now here this is the polynomial what you can do is this is minus 1 raised to power 2 second derivative of Laplace of this. So what is the Laplace of this is s plus half and so on. So what you can do is you can see like here. So what is the second derivative of this? And this is the here what is the first derivative of this once you will solve them you will get the same answer of this. Look at the next one is there so again since I can write this cosine part in term uh, cos part in terms of here this part. Now here the exponential part is present so we can again apply the first shifting first theorem or since polynomial part is present so we can apply the multiplication rule in the same way. So again this is the same problem we have discussed with the shifting first theorem now we here. So we can solve this firstly Laplace of the cos of t that is nothing but my here. What is the Laplace of the cos t is nothing but my s upon s square plus a square. Here is a polynomial of degree 1 so we can differentiate this function as a one time you will get this answer. Look at this one again now here is a t square so what we can do is we can take uh, two times derivative of this by shifting first theorem you can solve it this is the right answer of this. So we can take the first derivative we can get here after that we can do this some calculation you get the required answer of this. Look at the here again this are the exponential part presents and this are polynomial part present so we can do by the both way if you use the shifting first theorem you will get this is the right answer but if you get here then what you can do is you will get the n is there so nth derivative of this. So since it is a very difficult for you to take the nth derivative so I always prefer for the shifting first theorem. But how you can take the second derivative nth derivative that is nothing but my n factorial upon here. 
or you can write as n factorial in terms of the gamma like of this why you can write only if n is my positive integer but here is the derivative so it's a positive integers are there look at one more examples are there so now again there is a polynomial is there but here this is not be the exponential part so it means uh, this part you can convert into the exponential part by converting this as of here and then you can apply the shifting first theorem but since this is a polynomial part we can simply start from here we can firstly find the laplace of this part since what is the laplace of the sine this is a upon s square plus a square laplace of the cos is s upon s square plus a square so you will get here now what is the polynomial degrees by 1 so you can take the first derivative of this with the sign minus 1 raised to power 1 so what is the first derivative of this you can simplify is easily as of this and now you can simplify this is a negative sign you can open this bracket you will get this as the required answer look at the last examples are there now here again you can see this is the exponential part this is the polynomial again there are the two methods so how you can do that we can firstly start with the sin of t let's the laplace of the sin of t is nothing but my here now it's depending upon you whether you want to go for x exponential part firstly that is the shifting first theorem and then for the multiplication rule or second rule is you can firstly apply that t that is a t rule multiplication to rule and then apply the shifting first theorem so we will discuss the two methods here so let's see firstly we can consider here that is the exponential part here so we can apply the shifting first theorem what is the shifting first theorem is replacing s to be the s minus a here a is my minus of 2 so replacing s to be the s plus 2 now up to this part is over now what is that you have to find take the derivative of this so that is by multiplication rule take the one time derivative of this you will get this as the right answer on the other hand how you can do the second part is you can firstly start from here now you can do the like here you can firstly take this and after that you can take of this part this are the second method so how you can solve this this is the polynomial so what is that this is the one times derivative of the laplace of this so that is my here now you get the laplace of this so the remaining part is only exponential part so for the exponential part we apply the shifting first theorem of this so by applying the shifting first theorem replacing s to be the s plus 2 so this is the s you can replace them here this is the s you can replace here you will get the right answer of this so both are way you can opt them which uh, which one is you preferable that's depending upon you we will see in our next class how you can solve the laplace transformation when uh, t is in the denominator like here you can see in both examples t in the denominator how you can solve this problem that will be seen in our next class till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning